told y'all I knew that money. No sweet tea enough for you. Now all the brothers and everybody. What's up, Jim? You, you. Come on. Huh? Come on. It's, it's your boy. Hey. This better not be no bull. Did I stutter? What's up? Get off the steps. Broke-ass Cosby kids. Hi, I'm Aisha with Real Black TV, and we're sitting here with Terry Crews from the new movie Lottery Ticket. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good, good. Oh, you are the man of the hour right now. You have two <laughs> films coming out in one week. That's amazing. It's I don't know what to say. I mean, you can't <laughs> plan this. I mean, it took me I'm, over two years. You just work, and all of a sudden, they determine when the stuff comes out. So, uh, but it's just timed out too perfect. It's just like right now, wham, here we go. I think I might give away a million bucks. I think I might give away a brand new truck. Cause I feel good. Yeah, I feel good. Cause I feel good. It says like all you need is a dollar and a dream. What was your dream? Have you achieved it yet? Like, have are you already there? Is there more on the map for you that you? Oh, I. Let me tell you, I'm just getting started. I'm okay. just, I feel like I'm 13 years old. I mean, you know, it, and the thing is, I, I love that phrase you said about a dollar in a dream because, you know, it really is all about working with what you have. You have to start where you are. Everybody always waits for, like, you know, when I get this, and if it's like this, and once I find this, I'll be a good. But you know what? It ain't going to happen because it starts where you are. It starts immediately. And, I'm telling you, it was, it was really crazy because the moment I remember having to do that is when I was playing, I was a security guard for Ice Cube. And I remember going home and I was, I, just, I played in the NFL, we moved to LA, I went broke, and I had to do this security job and I hated it. I was, I was hating on it like, man, I ain't no security guard, I'm, I can't wait. I had a bad attitude mm. and it hit me really hard. It said, man, if you don't do this, like you're making $2 million a day, then I'll never bless you. I'll never take you to a whole nother level. And I was like, whoa. And I'm telling my wife, I was like, you know what? I need to change my attitude. I need to start where I'm at. And it was funny because I came in, I was ironing my shirts and, you know, my little, uh, get my batteries for my little flashlight, like, uh, I'll see you, <laughs> I'll see you. You know, and, uh, <laughs> and Cube and them noticed. What's so amazing is that they noticed that I was trying to be the best security guard that there could be. And what happened was he gave me an audition for Friday After Next. Once I started acting, he said, man, I want to bring you in because cause they knew what I was always about. And that changed my life, changed everything. Wow. It's just the small decisions like that. I mean, that's think about it. You hit the lottery way before you actually hit the lottery. It's a decision. Mm -hmm. The moment you decide to win, you hit. You know what I mean? Right. And now it's just the process of catching up to, you know, having your dreams hit that where you where they are in your mind. But this is funny because this is more than I actually thought it would ever be. If I had just done Friday and stuff and those kind of things and stayed at that spot, I'd have been happy because I was doing what I love. But now it's like more than that. It's like just all this stuff, Expendables and uh, Are We There Yet? And the wonder that was Everybody Hates Chris and... I mean, it just keeps getting better and better and better. And it's like planting a seed, and it's really growing into this great tree. And it's almost like you can't, the tree is so big, you can't push it, you can't move right. it. You know what I mean? It takes right. a lot to destroy it. You right. know what I mean? So it feels really, really, and, and I, I feel, I thank God he put me in this place right now. Right. Well, what is the number one piece of advice you would give somebody who was once in your shoes that is up and coming, just trying to make it? What is the number one piece of advice? My, my big thing is, is really just don't ever, ever, ever give up. That is the thing because, you, you, you know, people talk about temptation all the time. You know, you're tempted to do this, tempted to do that. But one of the biggest temptations is the temptation to quit. That I tell everybody because it's always hard. And one thing about Ice Cube that a lot of people don't know is that it takes years to produce a movie. Mm -hmm. People think that. He's like, man, let's do this movie. All right, I'm going to call up my people. We're going to hang out and let's do it. It takes so much patience 
so much perseverance. All you hear as a producer is no. Cube, it goes for years, he'll hear no, 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 until the point where it becomes a yes. For him to put all these people together, for him to get all the stuff that it takes, for him to spend two years working on my show, are we there yet, to get it to a point where it will go, and then all the people hating on you and, and saying no, 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 and then all of a sudden, when you get put on and it goes yes, you get 500 people jobs. The same people that was like, nah, it'll never work. Nope, nope, nope. They're like, hey, can I, can I work for you? Can I, can I? And it, it really, that's where your money comes from. It's, it comes from people like that. You know, type, people like Tyler Perry, people who like made decisions to say, I'm going to buck the trend, fight against the grain, swim upstream, and make something. And then all of a sudden, you, you now you're, you're funding lives. You know what I'm wow. saying? People are eating because you, just, you made a decision. And I just love it. I think it's the best thing ever. So never, never give up. All right. Awesome. Well, All it was right. great talking to you. I'm long-winded. I'm sorry. <laughs>